Hello everyone, this is Clay with Digifactors Animation. How are y'all doing today? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day like I am. Well, it's wonderful so far. I don't know about later. I gotta go to work here about 2 o'clock. But anyway, it's, it's great so far. I woke up feeling good and all that. Okay, just to let everyone know where I'm at for Digifactor. Uh, uh, I'm in the process of creating sets to start production of Space Wars. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a little while before I start production. But with all the sets that I have made, I am creating a small video to promote Space Wars. And that is about a robot called Norbit. He's delivering some booze to a client. He gets caught up in an asteroid field. Uh, Something goes haywire, he lose, his navigation system uh, conks out on him and stuff like that, but that's, that's all I'm going to say. But I do have other projects that I am working on. And one of those projects is an old project that I started a while back and uh, I already made two episodes, episode one and two. Um, and then I was looking back at them. Um, looking at the quality and everything. Uh, I didn't spend too much time uh, acting for the characters. I didn't spend en enough time for the voices and stuff like that. So I decided to redo those two episodes before I carry on with episode three. I want to make those episodes look a lot better. I want to make the sets look a lot better. Uh, I'm going to recreate the whole town and as you can see the set in front of me is a saloon and this is this this is my starting point for recreating the town of Darrowwood um, the saloon is where most of the action is going to occur in episode one just like you see the old episode he's in a saloon it's still going to be the same script I'm just going to redo it um yeah but episode three uh totally written rewritten the script for that one uh redid the story and everything so it's not going to be the same story that i had planned before um uh, had reasons to anyway but that, you know i can't let finger pistols or dangerous die this is something i written back in high school uh, never thought I would do anything with it up until now but anyway uh, let me stop this music real quick let me stop that all right so uh, as you can see this is the set and I have the storyteller that's what I call him uh, he's got a name but that's just something I'm not I'm not gonna reveal but anyway this is an actual set and it's the starting point and it's right in the center of Durwood. and I'm going to create the rest of the town and I'm going to do each set this way so uh, I may have two sets into one so um, yeah but when I'm done I should have a complete uh, whole town Durwood. So yeah, this is the saloon. Let me show you the outside of it. As you can see, I got a couple of barrels and stuff like that in there. And these are the default barrels that come with uh, Movie 2. And a lot of stuff I created using Milkshake. Um, and the other stuff that I used to that's already in uh, Movie 2, like these little tables and these chairs and all that. Um, anyway, let's go around. Show you the outside of it. And the reason why I'm showing the set right now is because for each uh, set that I create for the town, as you can see this set right here, I'm planning on uh, making it available in my store. Um, I may ask $15 for it because I did a lot of work on this. This set in particular took me like three days, you know, so yeah. Um, I pretty much got it finished. So this is the side, and there's the top. 
go to the back nothing in the back at all so you can see through the windows I got curtains hanging up in there Uh, see, I got some little horse horse post here. Where cowboys can tie their horses up. Um, going to create a uh, you know a, a little street, dirt street here. So um, anyway, we've seen the outside. On oh, there is the balcony. You can see the balcony and the sign. All right. Well, I'm going to copy him and I'll tell you the reason why because we're going to test the size of everything in there so I got to make sure everything that I have is uh, sized up right so whenever I'm making a set I always put a character in there before I start it because I use this character to size everything up because you don't want everything being too too uh, too big so like that burl there, it may be a little bit too big, I'm not for sure, but then again it may not, so I, I, I might just leave it like that. So I got him copied. So let's go inside the saloon and I'll show you what the main features of this set looks like. So we're going to let's go right on in. So when the, these are going to be animated, so they'll be swinging open and shut and everything so but right now they're not in the uh, whenever I put this on uh, the store uh, I will say this before you buy it you got to make sure you have the uh, key frame uh, pack installed into the movie zoo. You, you got to have the key frame pack for movie zoo expansion pack you got to have the keyframe expansion pack for a movie zoo in order to use this set. And I'll tell you the reason why. Everything is, all the walls and all that, everything else is in one individual piece. And to make those pieces work without pulling away from each other, or bumping into each other, and they'll just bounce off. You know, I know a lot of y'all probably encountered that. But with keyframe, it acts like glue to keep everything together. So, so let's go inside. And this is the interior of the saloon. Okay, and that's what he looks like when he's coming in through the door. So... So let's pace our, well, I guess he's, let's paste him in there, see if he'll come out. Uh, may have a little bit of too much stuff to even paste him in there anywhere. Well, let me go up a little higher. Paste him. There he is. Okay, so now we got him in there. As you can see, uh, I like to just size everything up. Pretty much, um, just make sure everything's the right size for him. So I like that bar, so I'll put him behind the bar, so he fits perfectly well in there. Okay, so you got the bar, you got this, this is the back room right here, so you can go in that back room. And this is like the little storage area. I, I'm not finished with this yet. I'm going to have some wine, some booze bottles and stuff like that all up in here. So uh, I may put a rack right here. But, but anyway, I, I'm not finished with that. I'm adding a little bit more to the story in this in this episode. So, but like I said, I will make this set available um, in my little store. Uh, Right now, I use Gumroad to sell my products due to the fact that I keep having financial issues with my website 
and the month to month thing kind of like you know gets me in a bind and having to pay because sometimes that payment is due right when my other payments are due you know my, my my light bill my water bill my car note my insurance it's just you know it, it takes what i have in my in my bank account to make everything work so i figured if i try to sell things and use that toward the uh my website and what i'm shooting for is i want to do a yearly thing it would be easier for me to do a yearly thing because all the assets that i sell the profit from that will pay for the website because all the money will go into my PayPal account and then I'll have my my website connected to my PayPal account will it'll automatically pay. Uh, right now I'm trying to build up enough to start the yearly subscription. So, so I figured for every set that I make for um, finger pistols are dangerous, I'll sell it individually, but I won't do the whole town. Okay, that's the whole town is going to be for me. I'm just going to sell these as individual sets, so y'all can make whatever kind of video y'all want to make. So well, obviously, this one will be a uh, a western. And again, I'm thinking about making, I mean, making my sets for Space Wars available as well. So I'm not for sure yet. I most likely probably will because I want to get my Digifactor uh, website back up, make my uh, assets available, uh, you know, and all of my other stuff that I do. I want to make it available to my subscribers, my friends, or anyone who has the passion to animate, you know, and MovieZoo is... I can't let it die. You know, MovieZoo was turning out to be a wonderful, wonderful uh, animation program. And it still is. It's just it's not being uh, supported right now with the new owners. Uh, was it Mar Meshmello? They, they bought it out, but they're really not doing nothing with it. So this is pretty much where I come in. People who are, people who have movie zoo really deserves more stuff for what they spent their money for you know uh, so that's where I'm coming in I'm trying to kind of like trying to keep movie zoo alive don't get me wrong I'm using other animation softwares as well especially with uh, Space Wars so I'm using three different types of animation softwares for Space Wars um, but like I said, I am not going anywhere. As long as I'm around, MovieZoo will always have new assets. But I need to get my website back up so it can be uh, easier to purchase in the ways that I have to do it right now. Anyway, this is the upstairs. I put a little stage area, this is where the little band is going to be playing, or whoever is going to be acting or doing whatever. And the stairs right there, you can go up on the other side. And then another little drinking area right there. And then you got the door that goes out to the balcony, so if they want to go outside and, you know, drink, and you can... Put a character. I always have problems putting a character on anything. So you can put a character out there. But the, the rails aren't. The reason why. Because I made the rails one whole piece. I guess I should have just. Pieced it together in. Side of Muzu. Instead of piecing it together in. Uh, milkshake. Because when I imported it. It would just stand up in midair like that. Because you have. Uh. A, a physic thing or uh, that appears right above it well you can't see it but but when you put it on there he's standing in the midair like that so I have to take off the collision 
which is in the physics in the collision that it, they call it could could be stand stood on so let's see oh wait a minute how in the heck is that possible or earlier oh he's stuck so I yeah, see that he's stuck I can't move him so anyway take it off now I can move him anyway that's pretty much it for this uh, little tour of the saloon I'm still going to add a few more things in the background and inside that storage building so if y'all care to have this just keep an uh, ear out for my uh, post here on uh, YouTube letting you know that it'll be available I just wanted to show everybody what I'm doing Digifactor is still alive and so is Movie Zoo with me Movie Zoo will still be alive that'll be it uh, y'all have a blessed day